Hey, it's Risa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen. I had two days off today, decided to go and do our Trader Joe's, our Costco, and I also got a couple things in the mail I wanted to show you guys I'm very excited about. Obviously, you know I, start, I subscribed to Thrive Market, and the first haul video should be up soon. Uh, we've been having a lot of trouble trying to get together to edit and post and all that. So it should be going live soon, the next couple of days, hopefully. So you'll see that. Um, and I've been waiting three days, three days. This box was sitting in Federal Express, not 40 minutes from my house. I don't know what's with them, but it was delayed for three days. I want to shoot somebody. <laughs> I really do. Um, but anyway, so I'm glad it finally came. As I was almost home from the trip, I got a text that it had arrived. I was so happy. I've been looking forward to making something. With I bought some RX Sugar, no sugar chocolate syrup. I've got a couple of Starbucks drink uh, hacks I've been working on, but I needed sugar-free chocolate syrup. And uh, I'm coming up with a no sugar or very low sugar version of a couple of the treats. You'll have to wait and see. I hope they work. Um, but anyway, I'm very excited, excited to get that. Um, aside from the other things in the box, of course. Um, and I got something in the mail. I've been very excited to get because, um, I don't know, a year or two ago, our favorite ramen noodles that we used to get at Costco, they discontinued them. And the only way to get them was either very expensively from Amazon or to go to the company website and order it from there. But every time I went there, they were sold out. They didn't know when they were going to get them back, whatever. And then I heard that David Chang of Momofuku fame came out with his own ramen noodles. Or I think he did it in collaboration with um, a famous Taiwanese ramen noodle company or noodle company called uh, Aisha, Aisha. I don't know. I used to get their noodles at Costco. I haven't seen them there in a while. The regular noodles from there. They had these wide noodles and they had the narrow ramen noodles that they used to sell. Also at World Market, they sell them. But of course, World Market closed over here. Uh, so uh, he did it in collaboration with them. And I was very excited. I got a text alert couple days ago that he was uh, back in stock. And so I got a uh, variety pack. Two of them are kind of spicy and the other I thought Trevor would like because it was just soy and scallion. So anyway, let me show you uh, what I got. I'm so excited. All right, so this is the Momofuku noodles. All right, so I got the spicy soy noodle. It's $39 for a variety pack, okay? Tingly Chili Wavy Noodles and Soy and Scallion Noodles. Now, instead of just making like a broth and you add the packets, the flavor packets to the bowl and then you put everything in your bowl, like most ramen noodles, this one, you just boil the water, you add the noodles, you cook them for four minutes, you drain them, and then you add the seasoning. So we're gonna be doing a taste test in a couple of days. I'm hoping to film. And uh, hopefully you guys will see the family trying all the new ramen noodles. They give you five packs in a bag. So it's about, it's uh, what, like 12 or $13 a bag, but you get five packages. It's not that bad. It's a little expensive for ramen noodles, but I thought it would be worth it uh, to try. Okay, there's that. Then we went to Costco. I'm not going to show you everything from Costco because we got a lot of things. They're the usual things. The, ro the uh, rotisserie chicken, the uh, croissants, the usual stuff. 
but there were a couple of new things. So you know me, I spot a new thing <laughs> out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, wow, you stuck fun. All right. Um, I've gotten plain wisps there before, which are just, you know, basically just like cheese, just cheese. It's just cheese, really. Um, this one's cheese with Chipotle, Tassiago and Pepper Jack with Chipotle. I can't wait. Uh, they're one gram of carb, no sugar, 11 grams of fat and 12 grams of protein in an ounce, which is 19 crisps. That's a nice, sizable snack. But see, for me, I would probably take about, I don't know, eight of them out of the bag and eat them. Because I don't, I never eat the whole size, snack size, or, you know, what they say is the actual serving size. Never. I never eat the whole thing. Something says two tablespoons, I take one tablespoon. I smear one tablespoon on my sandwich, you know. I'm, I'm not like that. I don't eat the whole thing. So I probably will take like 10 of these to work and eat them for my snack. Um, but anyway, those. And then this. I know this is high in sugar. I know that. Seven grams of sugar in a tablespoon. But I thought I would just mix it into like a big thing of mayonnaise and make like a sauce for dumplings or something. Or just drizzle that tablespoon over like two or three things. And everybody will get like two or three grams of sugar. Steve doesn't like sweet stuff. He doesn't even want to try it. But I think I'm going to try it uh, just a little bit into like a dipping sauce or something with a little uh, coconut aminos. So like a teaspoon in with coconut aminos. So I'll get like three grams of sugar instead of seven grams of sugar. I, as we know, love sweet stuff. And that's why I'm trying to avoid them. But I couldn't resist it. It's called Bakan's, the original Japanese barbecue sauce. So if you've tried this, put it in the comments, please. Let me know how you like it. If it's really super sweet, because the clerk, the cashier at Costco told him it's very sweet. Uh, those are the two things from Costco that I got that are not the usual things. Uh, I was also looking for some new thing from um, the Chicharron, the company that sells Chicharron there. It's supposed to be the butcher blend. I keep seeing it in their uh, sale bulletin and I see it online. I can't find it in the store. I've searched the whole snack aisle. I've searched the back where they have snacks. I can't find it. I don't think our stores sell it, um, which is a normal thing <laughs> around you. All right, then of course I went to cost, uh, Trader Joe's because I tried to get there last week. We started to go, even though it was raining. And then I realized about an eighth of the way up, maybe two miles up the road, that I forgot my phone at home. And so we came home to get it and then decided just to stay home because it was coming down buckets. It was horrible last Thursday, just horrible. It was, uh, it was so awful. It was the hugest storm I've seen in a while. It was horrible. It was very windy and it was really rainy. And I just, and of course, Ethel was hiding in the closet. And I just decided, nope, the spring items are just not worth it to not only get soaking wet, even though I was wearing my rain jacket, but uh, decided to push it to this week. So we went today. Okay. So I wanted to get some of the new items. And one of them was the vegan buffalo dip, which is based on cauliflower. I thought it was going to be cashews, but it's not. It's cauliflower. I can't wait to try this. I like bringing dip and a few chips or some crudite or something to work for a snack. So something high um, protein and then something with... Well, I like to keep it like high protein, so I'll take some of those. I'll take like a handful of these and a couple of tablespoons. Now, serving size is two tablespoons. It's got less than one gram of sugar. It's got three grams of fat and one gram of protein, so it's not a lot of protein. Uh, but I thought I would try it. It's plant-based, dairy-free, and um, it looked good. 
that's not okay. Also, I don't know if this is new or if it's just new to me, but the herbed tahini sauce. This has five grams of protein, 14 grams of fat in a quarter cup. So I could bring a quarter cup of this with some of these, right? And bring half of these, that's six grams of protein, right? That's six grams of protein and that's five grams. So that's 11 grams of protein. And it's like five or six grams of fat. So it's almost 20 grams of fat. So that would be a great high fat, high protein snack for me for work. I got my usual jicama wraps. Always get jicama wraps. I always get either the garden vegetable hash, if this is the only one they have, or I get the one with the butternut squash, the fall, really, fall one. Um, because it's really good just sauteed and then you can add eggs or you can add or just put it in with pasta with a, like a chinese sauce or teriyaki or something it's really really good okay then i finally found the new ranch dressing mix the only thing that bothers me about this and i almost left it there was that it has maltodextrin in it so it doesn't have totally clean ingredients it has natural flavor. It's got maltodextrin. It's got citric acid. But otherwise, I, I don't understand them. Otherwise, it's fairly clean. I mean, yeah, it has safflower oil, which is a cheap seed oil, which is not great. But otherwise, it's got buttermilk. See, it's buttermilk flavor powder. So it has buttermilk, dried buttermilk. But then they have to put in natural butter flavor. Why don't they just say organic butter? Maltodextrin. Why? Um, milk, cultured buttermilk, All right? Granulated garlic, granulated onion, sea salt, sugar. All right. Why couldn't they use allulose? I've been making my own seasonings lately. I use allulose instead of sugar. It tastes fine. It tastes good. Uh, green onions, black pepper, chives. See, I, that's what's interesting to me. It's not just chives. A lot of them are chive. This one is chive and green onions. Safflower oil. Why? Why couldn't they use a better oil? Because then they would have had to charge more for it. Instead of two ninety nine. they would have had to charge three twenty nine or something. Big deal. It's 20 cents. Whatever. Uh, so they had to cheapen it. Okay, but I thought I would try it. I put some in mayonnaise before and used it as a dip. It was pretty good. Anyway, I bought two because I know me. I'll go through this. Even though I have some Hidden Valley somewhere in the house, even though I have Penzi's version, which is so clean compared to this, um, which I've been using for years. But I also uh, made my own version of it from Lindsay Murphy's recipe. Um, which I'm going to try in something. I'm going to take some buttermilk powder and some homemade mayonnaise and make dressing. Um, I did that. I already made it. I'm letting it sit for a few days so that it kind of infuses. Um, I have several different versions of ranch dressing. I'm a little ranch obsessed, but it's going to last a year or two, so we'll, we'll go through it. Um, my son, the picky child, has decided he really does like this. So I bought another two jars to have on hand for the next month or two. Because I've been making, like, I'll make either kohlrabi pasta for myself or p pasta noodles out of the carnivore crepes from Indigo Neely. Um... And so I'm making myself either like a fresh noodle, quote unquote, fresh noodle. Um, and then a little bit of this, the serving size is a quarter cup. So 10 grams of fat. So it's extra fat. We like fat around here. Um, and I bought two packages of the kohlrabi pasta. Instead of using it for pasta, well, one of them I'm going to use for pasta. The other one, I had an idea, which if I do it and it's successful, I will film it. I mean, I'll probably film it and then if it's not successful, then I'll just delete it. 
But if it's not, if it's successful, then I will post it and you'll see what I'm doing with Colorado pasta. Okay, I'm working for the snack peas because not only are they a good snack, but they're really quick to cook. Like two minutes in the microwave, or I just sort, or I just stir fry them real quick and put them with some noodles and some teriyaki sauce and it's delicious with some chicken or something. Uh, or I throw them in salad. I've been throwing them in salad. Okay. Now these are three things I've never bought. First of all, we have the new Sprinkle Jangle, which is basically a snack mix. Yes, it's high in sugar. 14 grams of sugar. It has a lot of ingredients, which means it's not clean. Okay. I know that. Okay. But it's a treat. It's Passover time. I like to have something sweet. And I can share this with people. That's the main reason. I'm going to have maybe eat maybe a cup in the whole bag. I'll probably eat a third of the bag and then share the rest of it. Uh, it is a combination of candy yogurt coated micro pretzels with drizzle. Butter toffee peanuts. Nonpareils with spring-colored sprinkles. I thought Steve would like that because he likes nonpareils. Broken pieces of dark chocolate Jojo cookie bark. Uh, spring candy gems, which I think are gelatinous. I think they're like um, gummies of some kind. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I thought Steve would like that. Milk chocolate peanut butter cups. I would like that, even though I do prefer dark chocolate. Anyway. So I, I thought I would try it and then share the rest. And I know these are also fairly high in sugar, nine grams in three, but it's also fairly clean. Dark chocolate, sunflower seeds, powdered sugar, which is organic, organic cane sugar, organic tapioca, cocoa butter, sea salt. So not a lot of ingredients. And I thought Trevor might like to try these because he doesn't like to eat peanuts because he used to be allergic. He's not allergic anymore. He just doesn't like the flavor. But he does like the flavor of sunflower seeds. He's had those candy-coated ones that are sort of like M&M's. He likes those. So I thought he might like to try these. And then I bought hash browns because I saw Sam the Cooking Guy making... McDonald's hack sandwiches and there was a um, there was a egg McMuffin sandwich with one of those on it and I thought I've got English muffins I gotta use up and I'm gonna be eating some wheat in the next week or so because it's kind of hard to avoid with matzah and yes they make gluten-free matzah but it's six for a small box. I did buy one box so that I'll have my morning, my morning matzah, my breakfast will be gluten free. And then in the afternoon, late afternoon or evening dinner or whatever, if I make matzah bride or something for the family, then I'll have the real thing. I'm allowing myself a bunch of sugar in the next week or so, and then I'm going to cut it out for all of May. So, um, I thought I would make a hack sandwich of, um, a piece of, um, sausage. I'm going to make some sausage. I have some, um, uh, I have some vegan chorizo that I thought I would make into some sausage patty. And I have some extra eggs I'm going to cook up. Um, I have a new way of cooking them that one of these days I'll film because it's really good. Um, and, and I'll make myself a sandwich with one of those. Um, but otherwise I froze the rest of them. I tried one today. It was good. It tastes just like the McDonald's hash brown patty. It really does. Um, and it was good. And I spent about, I spent a little over $60. I think I got everything. There might've been a couple things in there refrigerator or something that I forgot. But I think that's it. Oh, actually, wait a second. Let's see. I have the receipt in my back pocket. Uh, let's see. Let's see what's this shop right? 
Starbucks, of course. We had to go to Starbucks. But I got a free beat. I got a free beat today. Costco. 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 So, meanwhile, the Wisps were $9, but they were on sale. There was $2.30 off. So, that's good. So, it was $7.50 around there. No, $6.50. Excuse me. $6.50 for that. And it is 9.5 ounces. And then the... Um, the Japanese sauce was $9.79. But it's 34 ounces. That's a big size. It's going to take me forever to go through that. Anyway, like that. Here's Trader Joe's. Okay, so Trader Joe's. The Sprinkle Jangle was $3.99. Vegan Buffalo Dip is $3.99. The Herb Tahini was $2.99. The Hash Browns were $2.49, and you get 10 of them. All right, so that's 24 cents a piece. Sunflower seed buttercups were three forty nine. Hickama wraps are four ninety nine. That's expensive, but I use them. I love them. Uh, sugar snap peas two ninety nine. That's very cheap. Most supermarkets around here want double. Uh, I bought oh I bought two cans. I love their farm raised smoked trout. I'm gonna be making um a like um instead of whitefish salad, which I refuse to pay the price they want for whitefish salad. I'm gonna make my own. Kind of with that. Um, the kohlrabi is three twenty nine a bag. The vegetable hash is four ninety nine, but it's all it's six vegetables chopped up. Could you imagine how much that must cost just to buy like one of each to chop it up? <sighs> Ridiculous. Uh, pasta sauce. The cacio de pepe was three forty nine a piece. Oh, it looks like they did not charge me for both. They only charged me for one. Okay, ranch seasoning is two ninety nine. Oh, they did charge me for both. They just did pasta sauce, ranch, pasta sauce, ranch, and then oh, and last but not least, I bought some flour for the table for Passover, and then I'm gonna plant it. It's a form of oh, lavender, right? And the whole thing was sixty four ninety nine. For everything. That's not that bad, right? We got two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's like fifteen things. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Actually, seventeen things. The sixty-four nine nine. That's not bad. I think that Trader Joe's is actually very reasonable. The things that they're expensive on are like their meats, things like that. But really, they're not they're, they're very reasonable. And I finally bought my brisket. I went into my store. I had ordered, I had to order one this year because they, the ones they had on the shelves were this big. Once the fat renders and the meat juices come out and all that, it's this big. Why would you sell something this big? It wasn't even two pounds. I needed like over four pounds because then it shrinks and you get like three and a half pounds, three and a quarter pounds of meat for three people. That's fine, it's a pound each, that's good. But this big, there were two of them this big. I went in, I knocked on the door because I worked there, I could actually go into the butcher room. I never even thought to do that. <laughs> It seems I can do that because I'm an employee. How about that? So I walked in. I said, hey, hi, Ken. You, you know, can I order a brisket to pick up tomorrow? Oh, sure. I never thought I even to order things, even as a customer. I never thought of that. But yes, you can. You can go to the butcher counter and order something. If you don't see it, order it. Same thing with the bakery. I never even thought that I could order stuff. I thought whatever we have on hand is what we have. But no, you can order something. Many years ago, they started selling the chocolate bomb cake and I went, oh, that thing looks so good. I would love that for my birthday. They had like two of them. It came in like two of them. They didn't make them. They just sold off the two. The two. And I was like, hmm, 
it's gone. My birthday's coming up. Oh. About six months later, we got some more in. And then they started making them. And I said, and I went, oh, I wish I'd seen that. I would have bought it. I would have got, bought one for my birthday if it had been there. And they went, Risa, you can order it. We'll make it. I was like, duh. It was a real duh moment. I, thought, I felt like Homer Simpson. D-U-H. Duh. So yes, you can order stuff. Just go in. Go to the department and ask. You don't see it? Ask for it. Same thing at Costco. Did you know that you can just ask them to order stuff for you? Yes, you can. Never thought to do it. But you can. Anyway, so that was Trader Joe's. Okay, now last but not least. Last but not least. Last but not least, I got my last Trading Joe's. I mean, my last Thrive Box. My latest Thrive Market Box. Belong to a better market. Okay. Now, see, I wasn't going to order another box. I usually order one box at the end of the month. But I got a text saying that my 15%, my $15 off um thrive money was it was expiring hey who doesn't want to save 15 dollars right so i ordered a smallish amount of stuff i still got free shipping and of course federal express screwed up big time i should have gotten this three days ago thrive market originally told me it was coming three days ago but anyway, I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to rant about. But I'm going to show you what I got. Okay. All right. First of all, Steve loves taco shells, hard tacos. I got him some, like, old El Paso, whatever, to use up. No, it's not old El um, a Trader Joe's one, but we're almost done with them. And I thought, well, I would like... To have some taco shells every once in a while. I don't want a hard taco every once in a while. So it seems that Thrive sells grain free. And so it's 17 grams of carb in two of them. No sugar. 7 grams of fat. No protein. But I thought they made from cassava. And avocado oil. And chia. So they're nice and clean. We are going to have tacos. All right. Then, I'm always trying out new different pasta alternatives. You know, I love the, uh, the artichoke pasta, the hearts of palm pasta, the pasta made with carnivore crepes that Neely uh, created, which are like egg wraps. So you can make it with egg wraps too, if you have those. Um, but I make my own egg wraps now. Why spend, what is it, $6, $5 for a small box? Um, if you have gelatin and you have egg whites, guess what? You can make your own. Um, anyway, so all that's in here is spaghetti squash. Now, I'm not a huge fan of spaghetti squash as a pasta substitute usually because it's a vegetable and the vegetables just go right through me. But it's four grams of sugar. It's four grams of, car of carb, usable carb, two grams of fiber. Um, two grams of protein, no fat, but I thought that I could mix it with other things to make it a little bit more starchy, a little bit more filling, because really, one serving of this half a cup, you know what that'll do to me? I'll be, I'll eat it, and an hour later I'll be starving. So I thought I would mix it with, like, the carnivore crepes pasta or something else or even real pasta just and that way everybody gets a vegetable without knowing they've gotten a vegetable really kind of faking everybody out so i thought i would try it it's called solely one whole organic spaghetti squash it's 100 percent vegetable and it's a little less than two ounces in the package 
I don't remember how much this was, but so I'd try that. And then if you saw, well, once you see my first Thrive Market <laughs> haul, which should have been posted about a month ago, but we've just not been able to get together to do it. So when we do, you'll see it. But in that order, I bought RX Sugar, just the allulose syrup, because I wanted to make some recipes with some, um, some simple syrup, but I didn't want the sugar. And all, and those recipes are working out really good. But I wanted to make some copycat Starbucks drinks with sugar-free or low sugar. I've been looking for sugar-free, I've been looking for sugar-free chocolate syrup and haven't been able to find it locally. Then I saw that RX Sugar makes Zero sugar, net carb, organic chocolate syrup. Hey, it's just organic allulose and cocoa powder. So I'm gonna try that. Can't wait, very excited. Also in that first order, I got two packets of a Kevin, of the Kevin's, Kevin's Natural Foods, I think it's called. Uh, I tried his, Simmer sauces, um, teriyaki sauce, and uh, the Korean barbecue sauce. And although they were low in, they were no sugar added. Um, I thought I, they were okay. I thought they were okay. I decided to try the Kung Pao sauce and the General Chow's sauce because Trevor loves General Chow's chicken. And I thought I've got a ton of different brands of vegan chicken nuggets in the freezer. I've been trying all of them for a future video. And I thought that if you dipped it into this, it would be like having, it would be like having General Chow's chicken, but much better for you. So instead of all deep, deep fried and all that, I'll heat, I'll cook them in the air fryer and I'll give them some of this or I'll dunk it in this and it'll be like general, but with some pasta, you know, with some noodles and some pea pods and yeah, whatever. I'll make like Chinese food and it'll be less sugar and much healthier. So it's paleo and keto, Kevin's Natural Foods. And it's got no, it's got one gram of sugar in a tablespoon, one gram of fat, no protein and two grams of carb, no fiber. So, and it's got fairly clean, all clean ingredients. The only thing I'm not all that thrilled with is the xanthan gum, but xanthan gum doesn't really do anything to me that is unhealthy. So, I got that, I got the Kung Pao, and I got the General Pao's chicken. Oh, also on the Thrive Market app, where you you can review the pot. I did write tiny reviews of both of the uh, sauce packets that I got. I thought they were okay. I had no problem with them. I can't wait to try this General Chow's though, because General Chow's chicken is normally very sweet. And this is only one gram of sugar in a tablespoon. So... I would maybe make a cup's worth, um, which is what, I, I don't know, eight or 10 grams of sugar, but that's for like everybody. So eat clean, live happy. All right, I got that. Okay. Let's see what this is, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember all the stuff I ordered. Oh, Saffron Road. Now, my supermarket does sell their frozen things. But this sounded really good. Lemongrass basil simmer sauce. And I love these packets. They stay in the cupboard in the pantry forever. Uh, it's four grams of sugar in a quarter cup. So not exactly. And it does have cane sugar. It does have cornstarch. It but it's really not that bad. Water, coconut milk, green Anaheim peppers, 
ginger, apple juice, concentrate, native cornstarch, lemongrass puree, cane sugar. All right, so it's got sugar. Garlic, lemon juice, concentrate, Thai basil puree, which is Thai basil and expeller pressed canola oil. See, that's the only thing that bothers me about it, but it's for everybody, not just me. Olive oil, lime juice, salt, sea salt, spices, gallon gale, xanthan gum, and green chili pepper. So it's mildly hot. I just thought it would make for a good quick meal if I grilled up some chicken and just cooked it in this for a few minutes and put it over some rice. Easy peasy on a weeknight, that'd be great. Um, and then, last but not least, that's the thing about, the only thing I don't like about Thrive Market is they don't put like a receipt, like a list, a shipping notice with what's in it, what's in your box, so that you can make sure that you got everything that you're supposed to get. No, you have to go onto the website and make sure that they sent everything. All right, this is the other thing I was kind of excited about getting because I didn't know it existed. All right, I like to use non-dairy milk at times, especially in my coffee. And also in smoothies for myself. Now, anything that base Trevor can have, and Steve has no interest in any of this kind of stuff. Basically, Thrive Market boxes are for me. So, um, I didn't know they made this. It is a concentrate to make your own macadamia nut milk. Or they also make it cashew milk, no, cashew milk, to make your own cashew milk. So you can make uh, 42 servings worth of cashew milk, unsweetened cashew milk base, and they don't call it milk, M-I-L-K, they call it M-Y-L-K. It's um, from a company called Modest Milk, modestmilk.com, and on... Um, on Instagram, it's at modest underscore milk, M-Y-L-K. And so one jar is equal to 336 ounces of made milk. And what you do is you combine the base and water in a blender. For the milk, you use one tablespoon of base for every 16 ounces of water. Uh, if you want it creamier, you use two tablespoons for every 16 ounces of water. You blend on high for one minute, and you store it in, store this, and then you store it in the refrigerator. Uh, and of course, you have to refrigerate this afterwards. All it is is cashews, coconut oil, arrowroot, and Himalayan salt. That's all. Um, so, one and a half teaspoons is a serving size of this is 42 in a jar uh so total fat 3.5 grams and one gram of protein no sugar no fiber two grams of carb and i just thought it would be interesting to have it would be great to have this in the refrigerator and instead of having to buy, go out and buy an aseptic package of cashew milk or a recipe calls for cashew milk and you don't have any in the house, you can make your own without having to soak cashews overnight, wait overnight, and then blend them and whatever. It's already blended. So a tablespoon or two of this for 16 ounces, shaky, shaky, into the refrigerator, I have cashew milk. So when I run out of the oat milk that's in the refrigerator now, I also have, I think, three containers. I think I still have three aseptic boxes of oat milk downstairs. And I also have some almond milk downstairs in the basement that I have to use up. So I'm going to use those up and then I'll start this. But meanwhile, I have it on hand if a recipe calls for, for uh, cashew milk. They also make... I think other forms like 
I, I think I saw somewhere on their website that they make other things. Um, but of course, if you're interested, check it out. Um, I'll put any information that I have about any of these items in my notes below. Any way that, I mean, obviously I'll tell you how much Thrive charged for them. Now, some of these things were discounted for the month. Uh, they they always have they all have excellent prices I have to say what you spend with them the fifty dollars that you spend with them Whole Foods wants another thirty bucks extra because I priced a few of these items I went to Whole Foods and priced a few of these things and they wanted way more okay so it's the way to go and it comes right to you all right so anyway that's my Thrive box. That's my everything from today. Um, so, of course, if you have tried any of these items, let me know in the comments below. And I'll have any information I can possibly get for these items. I, the, the price that Thrive charges, um, plus uh, any information for, of Thrive. If you want to join Thrive, I have a code, not a, not a uh, discount code because I am not sponsored by them. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, any of this. Uh, but I do have a referral code. So you can join and you can get, I think it's $40 off your first box. And then they also give you a freebie up to $25, I think it is. So you're still saving 65 bucks. Now, yes, you do pay, uh, well, you can buy a yearly charge of 60 bucks. So that's $5 a month. Because what they do is they give, for every box you buy, they give a box to someone in need, whether it's a first responder or someone low income or anything like that. Um, plus they use all renewable sources of shipping materials and um, everything is recyclable and all that. So all of this plastic is gonna go into the recycle and all this paper is gonna go into the recycle. It's a way better way of shipping and there are so many good things about Thrive. Go to their website, read about them. They really are a wonderful company. And they sell terrific things at great prices. So much cheaper than other stores. It's ridiculous. Um, and um, of course, if uh, you like the video, of course, click like. And of course, subscribe, press that little bell so they will inform you of my upcoming videos when they, come, when they go live. And uh, I'll see you again soon at Reese's Clothing Kitchen. Bye.